Hello, my friends out there. Praise the Lord. I hope you are all well. My name is Wokuri Sylvia. I am a teacher by profession. Today I am here to share a very important topic and it says, I am glad to be me. I am not perfect, but somehow I am glad to be myself. I do not know about you. Are you glad to be yourself? Are you glad to be the person you are? Many people do not know how special they are. So they waste a lot of time and energy wishing they were somebody else, wishing they were somebody else, wishing they were beautiful, wishing they had certain looks. And so in the end, they get into denial, isolation, and misery in all their lives. God created us different and unique. E.g., no matter how you look, each of us is special. When we read the book of Psalms, chapter 139, verse 14, it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Friends, I am here to tell you that you fearfully and wonderfully made. No matter what people say, that you're ugly, that your body is big, that you're crooked, you are fearfully and wonderfully mad. I am here to encourage you to love yourself and to know yourself. There is power in knowing yourself. It's not so not good to compare yourselves to others because we are different. We have different physique, different heights, different facials. Remember, there is power in self-awareness. If you know that your body is big, you'll know what to put on. If you know that your face is round, you'll know what makeup to put on. If you know your foot, you'll exactly get the right shoe for your foot. Remember, there are things you can change, and there are those that you cannot change about yourself. If I had you to answer me questions, I would ask, what can you change about yourself, and what can you change about yourself? So those things you can change, well and good, you can change, but those that you cannot change, appreciate them because the Lord gave them to you for a purpose. God bless.